king size good news burrito packed with extra good news beans. And with me at the desk, my trusty co pilot, Ross Matthews. Hi, everybody. Hi. <laughs> beans. And we have a dynamic duo with us today. He is an SNL alum, actor, podcast host, and comedian with stand up shows coming this spring at Arlington Improv. It's Finesse Mitchell. Yes. yes. Hello, 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 everyone. <laughs> And she is an Emmy-nominated actress, comedian, mother, entrepreneur, and NAACP award nominee, what, what? Kim Whitley! What? Yeah. Congratulations, Kim! Congrats. Uh, but just so announced. Yes, just announced. Uh, me and Sherry Shepard uh, just got oh. nominated our podcast, Two Funny Mamas, uh, for an NAACP uh, Image Award. So Woo! please, go vote, go vote, go vote! Purple note. I, I mean, know. Yellow. Yes. I was like, someone should tell me about we, the little purple note. We were DMing each other. You know what I'm saying? No, we were not. He walked out and like, <laughs> like, no, Ross, this is how you wear this a purple is, suit. And I'm yeah. like. I'm taking notes. Big shout out to Sebastian Cruz for hooking me up. He's yeah. a buddy out of S South Florida. Yeah. I love that suit. Sebastian, you are so awesome. Yeah. See, you look hot. I look like Barney, you know? <laughs> no, like you a big ball. The whole, 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 kids, you know? <laughs> Don't you say that about my friend. You're hot. Yes, okay. you are. I've been knowing you a long time. I was just about to yeah. say that too, Kim. You know what? I've been knowing a long time. And he finally grew up. Like, you look like a grown yes. man, yes, finally. You, you yes. think so? I finally caught your I, huh, Kim? <laughs> yes. This is the romance storyline we did not see coming. <laughs> Two funny mamas, two hot men in purple. Yeah. Yes. Hey. Hey. All right. Should we hit the headlines, guys? Yes. Uh oh. Yes. Uh oh. I'm ready. All right. First up, we have got some fresh Kim Kanye, Pete Davidson news. Ooh. Okay. The yeah. Fresh. They the love this. 2022 fresh. thing you didn't know you needed. The blog she knows reports that Kanye's got a song out. It's brand new with some fighting words for Pete Davidson, but allegedly Pete finds it hilarious. The lyrics are, God saved me from that crash so I can beat Pete Davidson's you-know-what. <laughs> what problems with crash? That he didn't say you-know-what. <laughs> exactly, finesse. Allegedly, Pete never wants to feud with Kanye because that's the dad of Kim's kids. Plus, he expected to be referenced in one of his songs sooner or later. Discuss. Oh, oh God. my God. <laughs> right? Are you into this? I, I absolutely love it. We knew Kanye was going to do this. <laughs> yeah. I mean, did we expect less? No. No, and I think Pete absolutely loves it. He's happy about it. The thing is, I think he's a little afraid. Just a little bit. Pete? Yes, Pete's a little afraid. Really? Yes, it's, but he's not afraid of Kanye. He's afraid of Kanye's fans. Oh. I'm just saying. Oh, God, that turned dark. Turned dark, right? <laughs> oh, my I, God. One minute I'm like, oh, this is so fun. And the next minute I'm like, run! This is terrifying! <laughs> I do get so excited, though, when there's just a little teeny celebrity beef. It's my second yeah. favorite kind of beef after hamburger. It's like when celebrities start <laughs> going at each other. And I have to say, uh, one time, I, I told you I, I had gone to the Kardashian Christmas party mm -hmm. before. Okay, It's one of my best <laughs> things I've ever done in my entire life. And I bring it up every chance I can. And I was behind <laughs> Kanye West in the buffet line. And I remember thinking to myself, Ross, if you cut in front of him, he could write a rap song about you. Right. That's like the dream to happen. So you know Pete Davidson, fan of rap, fan of pop culture. A little bit of him is like, this is so cool that I'm in a Kanye West song. Wouldn't you think it's cool, you guys? Absolutely. Yes. Totally. I would love for Kanye West to write a song or just put me in a lyric or whatever. Yes. As long as it's, especially if he says he's going to beat my, my booty. Yeah. Beat my butt. Yeah, you know that's what I mean? not I, nice. I mean, that's not nice, but I'll take it because now I'm beefing with Kanye. Mm -hmm. And even though I can't rap and I'm thinking Pete's thinking the same thing, like we're stand up comics. What can you say in response? You're not going to go in a studio. I think he handled it the right way because the alternative is to be like, Ice, right, Kanye, I'm going to meet you in the studio or I'm going to meet you on the street. And I think Pete will lose both battles.